Melissa, your tips sound too good to be true. There is no way it can be that easy for me to write a progress note. If only I had a penny for every time I've heard that. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa McCaffrey, founder of the free private practice paperwork crash course. And today we are busting through the myth that easy documentation must equal bad documentation. To answer this question, let's look at where this myth usually comes up first. And that's typically in an agency type setting where a lot of us start out. These places get funding from big entities like Medicare, Medicaid, or other third-party payers, and often have all of these extra requirements for their documentation that really have nothing to do with our actual ethical guidelines. The other issue is the lack of ethical guidelines. So have you ever researched what ACA or APA or AAMFT or NASW actually has to say about what needs to be in your progress notes? Because yes, I'm probably one of the few people who has looked at what all of those professional associations say about it. And while some of them give a few details, for the most part, they leave the guidelines very vague and open. In a nutshell, they all say, write progress notes, which is not helpful if you're looking for what exactly do I need to put in a progress note. Their reasoning is excellent. If you think about all of the different settings in which therapists work, we could be in jails, in hospitals, in psychiatric hospitals, in community mental health centers, in a private practice, the list goes on. It's impossible for APA, for example, to say all psychologists need to write a note this way and include exactly these things and that's it. It's just never gonna happen and thank God it doesn't, right? Because we wanna be able to have some flexibility. The only issue is that I know all of that flexibility gives you a lot of anxiety because what the heck do I put in my note? Now I have another video coming up soon about exactly what to put in a progress note, but in a nutshell, you wanna include the client presentation, their progress, and your actions as the therapist, your interventions. That sounds easy enough until maybe you sit down to do it. And then it might take you 25 minutes or longer to actually translate what happened in that session into a progress note. So a lot of what you see to make things more simple is check boxes. And yes, check boxes are magical and amazing when they work. The thing is, I do recommend if you're going to use checkboxes that you create your own checkboxes and don't use checkboxes that you find, especially inside your EHR, in the progress note template there. Those tend to be very basic and vague and won't really meet requirements for insurance. You really wanna personalize things like your interventions and your client responses in order to make your note quality. In fact, I have an interventions checklist. It'll be linked in the video description below. So go ahead, click there, download that, access that, and use that to create some checkboxes for yourself. Save some time. But in the meantime, I have something that you can do that will make your notes so much easier and you can literally do it on your next note 10 minutes from now. And that is start using bullet points. Get away from writing full sentences. I'm telling you, I've looked at all the ethical requirements. There is no state law, there is no professional association that says you have to write all of your notes in full sentences. And I'll also tell you that as an auditor, it is so much easier to read through a note that has bullet points rather than full sentences. I am not interested in reading through a full paragraph and then another paragraph and then another paragraph of text just to find out the few key points I'm looking for as an auditor. So start using bullet points in your notes. You can use this for any section, you can use this for all sections, it doesn't matter. Whatever template you're using now, you don't have to change anything about it. Just start using bullet points anytime you are tempted to write out a full sentence. This will get you out of the habit of writing more and it will help take away the extra distraction of trying to translate things into proper English and writing a note out well. So a note with bullet points has just as much information, it has just as much quality as a note without bullet points, but it is way easier to write. In fact, this is the strategy that I personally used early on in my career when I was writing a lot of assessments. 
So you can use this for your treatment plans, your assessments, your progress notes. Anytime you're documenting, there's no need to write out full sentences and explain everything in such detail. Just focus on the important information that needs to be there. Now, if you want a few more quick tips for your documentation, you can check out my free private practice paperwork crash course that will also be linked below. Now, the next step for improving your documentation gets into creating those check boxes and starter sentences and all that kind of stuff. And you can get started with that using that free interventions checklist that's linked below. So make sure you download that, start using that, and then think about how you can use bullet points instead of writing full sentences in your notes. And trust me, you will go back and read those notes later and you will thank yourself for having bullet points instead of having full paragraphs. I promise. Happy writing.